It's now on the record and you've just alluded to it and you've spoken publicly already about this passage in your book where you write that the clubs were generous donors to candidates. In fact, the club's New South Wales representative had given me an envelope full of cash and an early meet the, meet the candidates event for New South Wales MPs. Now, you've since said that wasn't right. Well, I've, I've corrected the record by saying that uh, it was a cheque uh, and that I handed it back. And I've made a statement to that effect and I think that's the right thing to do when something like this happens. Now, your memory seemed to be quite emphatic during the filming of a documentary where you repeat the claim that you received an envelope of cash no fewer than four times. Now, we've just got the clip here, which we'll show. And handed me an envelope, uh, which I took, and I thought, oh, it's, you know, maybe a card or some material, but it turned out to be money. Uh, I think it might be some literature or something like that, and a little bit after that, I looked down and realised that it was full of money. But then... On examination, oh, hang on a minute, it, it's, it's got money in it. It was money. It was filled with money. So how can you have such a vivid recollection of something that didn't happen? Well, you know, Emma, I asked myself this question when um, I spoke to somebody who had been at this event and who confirmed for me that it was, in fact, a cheque. And all I can say is that I wrote it uh, in this way. And having written it this way, uh, I went and did an interview on it and I gave a number of answers to the questions that were put to me and I incorporated my memory of the event, uh, which was a mis-memory. And having done that, uh, I retained that conviction until such time as it was pointed out to me that this wasn't the case. So uh, I'm human, I'm fallible, I made a mistake uh, and as soon as I knew, uh, I made sure that the record was corrected and I felt that was the right thing to do. How do you and if know for sure which one's right, I guess, if, is, well, the, is the well, point? Well, I have someone to corroborate what I've said. But the point is this, um, I've extrapolated what I wrote in the book. I've gone back and had a look at the book. It's one sentence in a, what, 430 page book. And I've extrapolated on that. And as I've been asked, I've continued to extrapolate. What was the check for? Well, uh, I say in the book that it was a check which would be provided to um, the Federal Electorate Council of Kingswood Smith. And that's how people make donations to candidates in election campaigns. So if it was a legitimate uh, donation, why did you give it back? Well, I didn't feel comfortable with it, uh, and so I chose to give it back. What were you not comfortable about? Well, it was a decision that I took at the time, Emma. I hadn't accepted donations of that kind previously, and I didn't accept this one. Well, actually, um, we've got some documents here that show that you did, in fact, receive donations from the Randwick Labor Club, which makes a significant amount of money from pokies, both in 2004 and in 2007. In 2007, the figures are about $14,000, and in 2004, about 5000 uh, That's absolutely right, and that is the purpose of the but Randwick Labor Club. But you just said that you'd never received a donation from... Well, I want to make something clear here, so just let me give the answer. Um, Clubs New South Wales or representatives of the Hotels Association or whoever it might be are peak body organisations. The Randwick Labor Club was established for the purpose of supporting Labor members and the expectation is that the Randwick Labor Club will provide money and donate to both the federal members and state members campaigns and certainly that happened and that's always been the case and I've always been upfront about that. 